Hi everyone, my name is Tori, this is Novel Life, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my September TBR to share with you. And I love September because it's the start of fall. It gets cooler where I live. I get to put out all my fall decorations. And it's my birthday month, which if you have been around for a little while, I love celebrating my birthday. I do all the fun things. I go to cool places. I go to cool restaurants. I just celebrate it, you know? It's also my husband's birthday in September. He technically gets the first two weeks and I get the last two weeks, but let's be real. <laughs> We really just celebrate me. I mean, we celebrate him too, but anyway. I went a little bit too ambitious for my August TBR. I only have 10 books on this list, and I'm actually really excited to read all of them. So I hope that this excitement sticks and I actually stick to this TBR, but I'm going to start with Patreon picks, and I'm going to start with my book club. So for Cover to Cover Book Club, which I run with Sam from Sam Reads a Little, we haven't technically picked a book yet, so I don't have a book to add to it. I will be reading that one, whatever it is, but we'll announce it on Instagram, and I'll put it in my community tab for you guys. But I always let my patrons pick two books for me to read read for an exclusive reading vlog for them during the month and I gave them five choices and they picked the top two. The top two was like by a landslide. So the first one is Tris Six Venom by Penelope Douglas. I recently picked this up at the Ripped Bodice when I went to California and apparently because this cover is going away because it's not indie published anymore I guess. I don't know but I've been wanting to read it. It is a female female book and it is extremely bully so it's a little bit darker and stuff like that. I think I did try to read this when it first came out but I wasn't in the mood for like super dark bully. I'm hoping I'm in the mood for that. I really want to get caught up with Penelope Douglas's backlist because I love their books. I'm excited for another Penn Douglas Wild Ride. So that's what this one I hope is going to be. The next book that they picked was Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. So uh, Lacey and Jess read this for Ravished by Romance, their book club, I think back in July. I think it was July, August. I forgot what it was, but they really enjoyed this one. Now, I picked this also up at the Ripped Bodice. It was signed. She was at Steamy Lit when I went, but there was no more physical books for me to buy. So I'm glad I picked this up at the Ripped Bodice and they were already signed. It's just not personalized, which I don't really care. But this is a wedding planner and her grumpy ex, and they have to work together to plan a celebrity event in this deliciously spicy and funny novel from fanfic sensation Julie Soto. So I read Manacled loved that fanfic and apparently the auction which is another really interesting and really good Jeremiah fanfic was written by Julie Soto. So I have really high hopes. I haven't read her fanfic but I have really high hopes for this book. I really like this cover. Um, I just like the way that he's holding her. Uh, I just I love a whole you know second chance type book so I'm really I have really high hopes. I think this is going to be a really good book for me and I have I'm, I'm excited. I'm extremely excited. I really wanted to start reading that at the end of August but I was like you know what let me put it in a poll for my patrons to pick. The next one is one that I also picked up at The Ripped Bodice, and that is A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain. So I've seen this around, and I think this is like a monster, which I don't always do, but I read a Harley LaRue book, Her Soul to Take, and he was kind of like a demon, which I think that's what he is. So I'm really interested. I, you know, want to do like spookier books, you know, for ball you know, just, I mean, September's still gonna be very, very hot for me here where I live in Georgia, but I'm still in the mood for that. So I'm, I'm putting this on my TBR. And if I don't get to it in September, I will definitely get to it in October because it's definitely more spooky, but I'm really excited for this one. It is long. It's like over 500 pages, but I have really high hopes. Like I said, a lot of these books I'm very excited for. Now this one, I have never heard of this author and I picked this up um, for free. It was in like one of someone's swag bag or something like that. And that was Wings Once Cursed and Bound by Piper J. Drake. So I just want to show this cover off. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I, like I said, got this in someone's swag bag. We traded a lot of books, so I don't really know exactly where it comes from. But it's this female character who lives in Seattle, and she's unaware of the, com the complicated magical world spinning just beyond the shadows and mists. Outside of her dance rehearsal, something like whisk her way, and it was her rescuer who is a vampire. So apparently she has these powers... I think um, that she it's been kept away for a while. I don't know. This sounds so good. The vampire aspect, her having these powers. I just thought that this would be also a really, really good book to read for, you know, spooky season. So I love a vampire. That really is what got me because I love vampires. The next book is one that I wanted to read last year and I actually picked it up during, I think, October last year. And that's Cackle by Rachel Harrison. So this was the Barnes and Noble monthly pick, I think back in October last year. I think it's a female, female, one's a witch and one is a 
just young human woman. So I don't know. It just seemed really cute. I love the cover. I think it is like the details are very pretty. Um, so yeah, it's a super short book. I just wanted to pick some books off my shelf that I bought last year during spooky season that I actually did not read. Now, another one that I recently picked up is Ashley Poston's new book, which is The Seven Year Slip. And I read The Dead Romantics last year in September. Absolutely loved it. Four and a half star read. It was literally almost perfect. And apparently all of her books are going to have this like tiny magical aspect, like I wouldn't say magical, but just this element, like magical element, not aspect. I don't know about this one. Uh, she works in the publishing. Yeah, she's a book publicist. And she moves into her aunt, her late aunt's apartment and finds a strange man standing in the kitchen. He exists in the past, seven years to be exact. And she quite literally lives seven years in his future. If you've read The Dead Romantics, you kind of kind of know what's going on. I don't know if this is like that, but I'm so, so interested. I know a lot of people have read it and really liked it. So I'm really glad I picked this up. I'm definitely gonna be reading this in September at some time. I think I might get the audio. I have the audio on hold at my library. The next one is actually a new release that came out at the end of August, and that is Foxglove by Adeline Grace. If you know me, I read Belladonna last year. Absolutely loved Belladonna. It is more of a YA fantasy ish romance eh, romance it's just YA I love reading some YA books around spooky season because they're not like too spooky for me but they're just like spooky enough I don't do like total horror thrillers stuff like that can't do that doesn't work for me I get too anxious but YA fantasy YA like dark academia books those kind of things I can read so I'm gonna read Fox Love I think I'm gonna pick it up at Barnes and Noble the exclusive edition because it'll match my Belladonna one but I don't have it yet physically so I'm really excited to read this one because I loved I loved Belladonna loved that book another book I want to get caught up on that I picked up recently Barnes and Noble which I didn't even know this book came out and that is A Game of Gods by Scarlett St. Clair I am a big fan of this series I've been a fan since I literally the first book came out I was I've been reading them as they come out so this is the third book in hate in the Hades series I think it's Hades book yeah this is the third book in the Hades saga it is a thick girl she is thick she is thick but I love Hades point of view I think she does it really really well where she writes you know Persephone's point of view they have three books out so far two books out in this Hades saga but Hades and Persephone is Persephone's point of view and then the Hades saga is just his point of view and it takes place at the same time so I really love seeing like inside of his head so I'm very excited for this I was not expecting it to be this thick her other books which I have up on my shelf is not that thick now I am doing a Magnolia Parks Universe read-along we're reading a book a month and in August it was Magnolia September is Daisy Hates which I'm very excited to dive back into Daisy Hates world she is amazing I love Daisy Hates I mean I love Magnolia but BJ wins my heart and in this one Daisy wins my heart I mean they all do they all have a special place in my heart so I'm excited to crack open this book and read it once again I think it'll be for the third time but I'm excited for this one I don't know when our live show is going to be for this book but I'll be posting it here and on Instagram we'll be sharing it I'm hosting this with Sam from Sam Reads a Little Rachel from Ravenhead Reader Lachlan from Locks Library and Hannah Hannah's Reese Reads so I'm really excited for this um our live show is actually tomorrow for for Magnolia because I'm filming this a little early and then I want to reread um Binding 13 because I want to get the audios again and read this book so yeah I'm just throwing this one on my list sometimes I like to reread stuff and I'm itching to reread this book so we're gonna put that one on now this is probably not all the books I'm gonna read in the month of September um I don't know am I reading a slow down I have a ton of books that I do want to read like I have so many books guys that I really 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 want to read but I just I just I just haven't I just haven't gotten to it I just I just don't have time to sit down and get to them all you know I, I don't know I don't know what it is I can't tell you but that is all for my September TBR let me know in the comments down below what is a book that you were excited to read in September I'd love to know what you guys are reading drop me a rose emoji because my t-shirt is in my villain era with the new Hello Lovely anti-heroes drop, so drop me like roses and stuff like that, red hearts, whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content from me. As always, I hope you're living a novel life, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.